Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are starting Halloween. If you don't know what Halloween is, starting from this Sunday until next Sunday, you will receive a video every single day. My videos will be very, very simple because I'm a simple girl. I don't want you to have to sit there, watch me do something and think, I can't do that. We are going to kick off Halloween with something that is most certainly on trend and it's a pumpkin face. So just keep on watching. Let's stop rambling and let's get glamorous. I'm going to start by setting my brows with a transparent soap. For my face, I'm using Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is so freaking good. It's so cheap, it's full coverage, and it's gonna look good in pictures as well. The only issue, the freaking spatula. I'm also putting the foundation on my lids and under my eyes because I'm not using concealer today. You can, you can do if you want to, but you will see why I'm not. And now we finally get to start the fun part. I'm going to be using two eyeshadows today. The first colour that I need is yellow and I'm going to use Jaclyn Hale The Vault Collection Armed and Gorgeous Palette for the colour Access. I really like this. It's very pigmented and it's exactly the right undertone. And the second shade that I'm going to be using is Coastal Scents Bright Tangerine because it's a beautiful, beautiful orange that is slightly red undertone. If you do have I'm um, Gorgeous, you could use Secure or Agent from this palette, but they're not the right undertone. So I'm personally using two completely different things, but it's up to you what you want to use. I'm going to pick up access on a very thick, fluffy, big brush. Picking it up, I'm picking it up, picking it up, sorry. I want to cover my entire lid up to the brow. You want to have it everywhere don't worry if you go outside your brow this is what you want for your under eye you're going to take your yellow and put it very messily under your eye as well so now I've applied all of this messily I'm going to move on to my second shade and I'm using this pencil brush, a brush that I have a little bit more control with and I'm putting that on my lid just on the mobile lid so the part that moves and I'm blending this into my crease I'm going to take a previous brush and help blend this I've applied so much that it's difficult to blend and I'm putting that underneath as well, but definitely closer to my lash line than the yellow. And again, making sure it is blended in with the yellow. You can always take access and blend it with that. This will help. After I'm happy with my blend, I'm going to take NYX Black Pencil Liner and put it in my waterline, both top and bottom. We're going to be smudging it, so again, you don't have to be too neat. And I'm taking a fluffy brush and smudging the black into my bottom lid and my top lid as well. I'm taking a bit more 
of bright tangerine to help me blend this in. What you also want to do is take that black and put it on your lid but put it in the centre. As you can see I'm doing this very messily. My life. And again I'm smudging that. You roughly want to make it into a triangle. You could do this with a black shadow. I wanted this messy worked into the skin kind of look. I'm just going to do my brows really quickly. Um, as always I'm using the Eye Law Pomade. I need them defined because the look is going to be quite heavy. And now the final step to the eyes, I'm going to add mascara. I'm going to do the other eye off of camera and I will be right back. Let's move on to the schnoz, shall we? Just like my eyes, I'm starting with access and I'm putting it on the centre of my nose, underneath as well. I'm going to put it on my nostrils. I want to blend it out a little bit. Next, I'm taking bright tangerine and putting that in the centre in a smaller triangle shape so not quite onto my nostrils just a little bit but mostly on the tip again blending all of this in i'm going to use the brush that had access on it to blend this in the black liner i'm smudging this in as well using tangerine to re-intensify that orange and blend this black in so it kind of gives me a look as if it's burnt I like that now I can finally move on to my smile again I'm using access to give myself a smile first I need to cover my lips so I'm taking my sponge just using that blot my lips and this is such a satisfying part starting from the inside and taking access I'm just going up and down just a little bit I'm going to move on to my face paint I'm using snazaru because it's a classic and I'm using my spray bottle to wet in this I'm taking a flat brush and working my black in. I want like a creamy consistency, you don't want this too runny. And if you don't have face paint, you can always use that pencil, that's fine. I just know that using face paint will give me a better finish. And I'm doing the same thing. So you want your smile to be as wide as the center of your face so don't go further than the tail of your brow it's just not going to look that good i want to cover my lips that's for sure so i'm widening my smile i'm taking a very small flat brush and of course i need to give myself some teeth what i'm going to do is draw a very long line here two small lines next to it one medium length line again medium length line and two small ones and from that I'm going to make some teeth So you basically want to use that line as a guide to draw triangles. The ones upside down are a lot harder, so you might want to be patient with them. I'm drawing my lines, I want them to be different lengths.
If you want your teeth to be any sharper, you could use a liner brush to do the teeth as well. I just find that this gives me a good look, but it doesn't take that long. And you know what? To sharpen my teeth, I am going to take that liner brush and give the edges some cleanup. One eternity later. And now, very important step. I know this looks pretty good in my opinion. You want to add a little bit of shading, so you want to take a very small brush and bright tangerine on it to add a little bit of depth into the indents between the teeth. Because this is face paint, it will drag a little bit. So you wanna be very precise, but don't worry if you smudge it a little bit. You can always take your fluffy brush that had tangerine on it and blend this in. Eventually. Final touch, I'm going to take access and blend the edges. This is almost finished, but the final step is to reapply the black. So I'm going to do that off of camera because I think you have enough footage there and I will be right back. So now I've reapplied my teeth, you can see there's a nice concentration of black there. My forehead seems to be very bare. To fix that I'm going to take the brush with access and start from my widow's peak and go in a triangular shape and you know it bright tangerine a bit more concentrated in the center and now I'm gonna give myself some hair Jeffree Star's equality liquid lipstick just like that I'm gonna let that dry apply one more layer of the twirl and I will be right back. As I was waiting for my twirly to dry I took a couple of pictures and I think my eyes aren't defined enough, my brows aren't defined enough and the overall perimeter of my face isn't as defined as it should be. So what I'm going to do is take the brush that I used all the way through with access. I'm going to dip into bright tangerine and I'm gonna go on the very outer perimeter of my face as if I'm bronzing always good to take breaks in between your makeup so you have time to see what you need to add to make it look even better what I saw in that picture was that my black is not black enough the one on my eye anyway an Inglot gel liner and I'm putting that in the centre of my lid. You could use this for this if you don't have face paint. But this is a very, very long lasting liner. That's a little bit better. I almost forgot about this. I'm taking an angled brush, defining the tail of my brow. My brows are getting lost in all of this. That's why at the very beginning I did say I want defined brows but with all of this black you want to go in. This is my interpretation and my go on the jack-o'-lantern trend. I hope you enjoy this makeup look. It was a journey and a half. The amount of details you put in depends on you but the more details you do put in will make the look. Take your time with it. 
it will look great don't give up practice makes perfect just look back at this video and follow along i hope it is useful for you guys i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please like comment subscribe i hope to see you next time bye